Hello everyone, we are now looking at a Hero Factory Invasion from Below set. This is to kick off the series and remember I said I don't have every single Hero Factory Invasion from Below set. I've only actually gotten three Wave 1 sets and then for Wave 2 I have all of them except for one, the Rocket Crawler Machine. But this one, I do, didn't miss out on Rocket's Battle Machine, so this is from the first wave of Invasion from Below. This is Rockus Stealth Machine. Now, I don't have the bag. I have lost the bag for this set. So, what I have instead is the instruction manual. It is set 44019 in case you're wondering. And uh, before we get to it, this is just one of those medium sized sets so we need medium sized battle machines. Over here you can see there's a com which you can attach all sorts of different weapons onto the Evil XL machine to make a more powerful Evil XL. And then a combination with all the beasts from the first wave. As for more combos here, you can combine the Evil Walker Inferno Jet Machine. Then here you can combine this guy, the Rock of Stealth, plus the Storm of Freeze Machine. So that's it for this. So this set is, again, I said it's a medium set, so it actually doesn't include much. It only has this machine plus a jumper. So before we get started, let's actually just get the jumper out of the way. So the jumper here is orange with black top and these jumpers were designed specially to to really fulfill their play feature which is to jump and uh, we, we if I move it down here then you can see I have the jumper right here and you just simply press on that and that just fires that jumper and I don't know where it landed but that's it. That, that's the jumper. So we'll look at the rocket minifigure in a bit. For now, I just want to show you the rocket stealth machine itself. Now, the first problem I already see is it's quite heavy. And because there are no friction adders here, it's actually already causing the machine to fall backwards very easily. Very loose. So in terms of foundations, uh, they definitely should have added some friction adders here to keep the machine sturdy. But I like how what they've done with CCBS. They've turned the CCBS stuff from using, you know, making normal figures, they're now using these to make battle machines. So, pretty cool. And in fact, the legs here are actually built very similar to a Hero Factory figure build. So, on the legs here, you can see he's got a hammer, he's got a wrench to repair his stuff, and this is a stealth machine. Unfortunately, it cannot turn visible. <laughs> and otherwise, I don't know how, how that's going to work, but very simple, straightforward battle machine. On this side here of his hands, he's got this plasma claws, which he uses to grab hold of a jumper, which he can then put on the back here. He has a special armor print here, number five in gold. His shoulders are actually built differently, so he has some extra bulk, extra coverage, really like that. This one here, his main blaster is his goo shooter, which he shoots like toxic sludgy stuff at the jumpers. Interesting and simple design weapons, uh, but I think it's it, it's pretty effective one. And then the cockpit here, I like how they have this armor bit armor piece here to actually make sure Raka's feet aren't sticking out too much, so it actually provides some extra protection. That's great. Got some lasers shooting out here. Got the cockpit inside with the Raka figure, which we'll look at in a minute, but. All the carpets here are, uh, are done with stickers. And on the top here, nice armor coverage with the gun. Kind of an interesting place to put the gun. The back is actually covered with the armor piece here. And then the last thing here is like th this uh, tank, which he uses. You can open it up, put a jumper inside, lock it up, and he uses this. To, he analyzes the jumpers. And uh, so overall, it's a very simple machine. Very straightforward machine. Actually, the reason I bought this one, I actually really liked it. Really liked the claw. Really liked the shooter. It's a really cool machine overall, and I like the overall design. And I only, I, I'll say this again: the only problem with the machine is the weight. It's just really, really heavy, and without friction adders, this thing is bound to fall over. So, kind of disappointing on that factor. But apart from that. The overall look of the machine I think looks fantastic and it's definitely looked like a, a pretty decent looking battle machine. So I'll give the machine, I'll actually no, I'll give the final reviews after we look at the Rocket figure. 
So, here is the Rocket figure. Again, in Invasion from Below, all the heroes have shrunk to mini figure size. And uh, this is Raka. And I think he looks okay, in my opinion. Uh, not as good as some other Rock, uh, some other hero minifigures. But I think this one in particular still looks decent enough. And uh, yeah, he doesn't look that great, but he's, he's still worth something. And yes, when you take it off, all the heroes have a blank minifigure head face. So even if you rotate this, rotate it, then you can never need to worry about changing the face with it. Cool figure all in all, all, other, all in all, just not the best hero minifigure out there. So, what do I think of the Raka Stealth Machine? Again, it's a miniature Invasion from Below set. Or not really miniature, but it's one of those mini, uh, medium sized ones. But I think it's one that worked out pretty well. And it's a cool battle machine. I think this one's my favorite from the Inferno Jet and the Storm of Freeze. And this one, for the three of them, I have to pick this one. This one looks the coolest. So, again, this is one of the very few Wave 1 sets I have. And uh, I think this is a particularly good machine. So, what do you think about this battle machine? Do you think this battle machine sucks? Or do you think this battle machine is great? Well, leave your comments if this thing doesn't get recommended for YouTube kids. And make sure to give a like or dislike the video. And we'll see you all with more Hero Factory Invasion From Below content very, very soon. Peace out. <laughs>